What's going on guys? So yesterday Apple pushed out iOS 5.1 for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. And I thought I would just give uh, an overview of some of the new features that are going to be available with this update. So the first thing that they added was they updated the lock screen just a little bit. They added the camera icon now directly on the slide to unlock bar. So instead of having to double tap the home button and opening it from there, it's available right there on the slide to unlock screen. And to access the camera, all you have to do is slide on up and the camera application opens. And then to go back to the lock screen, just slide back down. So it's a little bit easier, a little bit quicker to get to the camera application right from the lock screen. Next thing that they did was they changed uh, they, they changed the little uh, 3G indicator next to the AT&T and Verizon logos on the iPhones. And hopefully you guys can see that, but it now says 4G. And a lot of people assumed that this meant the iPhone was, was a 4G phone now, and that is not the case. They updated the networks just a little bit. It's not 4G, not 4G speeds or LTE or anything like that. They just kind of changed the logo because they felt, I guess, that the speeds were a little bit faster and, and the network was updated. So they just changed it from 3G to 4G. But the iPhone is not a 4G phone. It has nothing to do with 4G LTE or anything like that. They just updated the, the logo to say 4G. And to be honest, I don't really know why they would do that. Um, it confuses It confuses a lot of people, but, you know, that's what they did and we can't do much about that. Uh, the next couple things that they did involved the iPad. So the first thing that they did was they updated the camera just a little bit. It's transparent here down at the bottom and the buttons to take the picture and to swap the camera are now in a different place. So it's a little bit um, easier to access it. As you can see, the take the picture button is right here and to swap the cameras from the front facing and rear facing camera is right there. So when you're holding it from either direction, either orientation, you can use uh, the buttons a little bit easier. They also added uh, one option down here for grid to turn on and off. So if you want a nice straight photo as you can see the grid shows up right there just on uh, just like on the iPhone camera the other thing that they did involves photos so for those of you who use photo stream um, right here in the middle you can now delete any photos from your photo stream just like that and it will be will be deleted on all your iDevices so that's basically it as far as uh, the visible features there's really not much else to be said. The Japanese language support for Siri is also available now for those of you in Japan or who speak uh, Japanese and, and wanted Siri um, capable with that. Uh, you can do that now. Uh, some of the other things that they added, camera face detection now highlights all detected faces. Um, so it takes a little bit better pictures when it's involving uh, your faces. They have genius mixes and genius playlists for iTunes match subscribers. The audio for TV shows and movies on the iPad is going to be uh, louder and clearer than before. They added podcast controls and playback speed and 30 second rewind on the iPad. Um, they addressed some battery fix or some uh, battery life issues on the iPhone and I'm sure on a, on um, a lot of people, the battery uh, life was just not up to par as to what it should be. This issue has been going on for a little bit of time now, and I, I think Apple is finally trying to crack down and make sure that this issue doesn't happen again. And they also fixed an issue that occasionally caused audio to drop for outgoing calls. So a lot of bug fixes, but a couple new features as I demonstrated in this video. If you guys are going to update, post a comment down below letting me know what you think. Or, or uh, if you're not going to update, uh, you know, let me know too. If you are jailbroken on iOS 5.0.1, there really is no need to update because you will lose your jailbreak. And right now there's only a tethered jailbreak out. Um, there isn't an untethered jailbreak for 5.1 yet. But as it becomes available, obviously, I'll post out a video and let you guys know. So there you go. That's all the new features on iOS 5.1. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.